Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the equivalent circuit of transformer. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic equivalent circuit of transformer. So that we know that the transformer we have primary winding and secondary winding. This, this is the primary winding. This one secondary winding. The primary winding is applied with the voltage. Secondary winding is connected with the load. So V1. V1 is the voltage applied to the primary winding. V2 is the voltage available at the secondary terminal as a load, load voltage. E1 is the EM of induced in the primary winding. E2 is the EM of induced in the secondary winding. R1 is resistance of primary winding. X1 is reactance, reactance of the primary winding. R2 is resistance of secondary winding. X2 is the reactance of secondary winding. We have the no load condition and loaded condition. When the transformer is not loaded, not loaded means the secondary is not connected with any load. At that time, the small amount of current I0 will flowing through the primary winding. This I0. I0 is the no load current. That is when the secondary is not loaded, small amount of current flowing. That is called I0. This I0 having two components, working component and magnetizing component. Working component means it is equivalent to the resistance, that is the ion loss. Working component means it is responsible for producing the magnetic flux. It is like a inductance, reactance, X0. Right? So the IW is the current flowing through R0, that is called a active or ion loss component. This I mu is the magnetizing current flowing through the X0. This, this X0, I, R0 refers to no load condition. It is responsible for magnetizing the primary winding when it is the secondary is not loaded. When the secondary is loaded what will happen? The secondary current will flowing through the secondary winding so that the current also flowing through the primary winding. It is called I2 dash. I2 is the current flowing through the secondary winding when it is loaded. So due to that the, because of loaded condition some more current will flow through the primary that is called I2 dash. So, this I1 is the total primary current that is the sum of I0 and I2 dash. I0 due to no load condition, I2 dash due to loaded condition. So, vector sum of these two is nothing but a total current I1. I2 is the current flowing through the secondary winding. Now, we can transfer this all the parameters in the secondary winding to the primary winding. So, that we can frame the equivalent circuit. For further calculation of the other process, it will be easier while transferring all the parameter from secondary to primary. Right? Now, we will see the description here. So, the V1 is the applied voltage in primary. V2 is the output voltage, terminal load, load voltage. I1 is the current in the primary. I2 is the current in the secondary. E1 is EM of induced in the primary. E2 EM of induced in the secondary. R0 and X0 be the resistance and reactance represent the loss component at the no load during no load condition. The effect of magnetizing component is X0, the effect of core loss that is ion loss is R0. So, these are all the description available. Now, let us, let us transfer all the resistance and reactance to the primary side in order to frame the equivalent circuit that will be very easy for further calculation. So, we will transfer all the reactants available in the secondary to the primary side. What are the resistance available? In the secondary side we have EMF, induced EMF, secondary current, secondary resistance, secondary reactants as well as load impedance ZL. Now, we will transfer all these parameters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 parameters into primary side all these parameters are transferred to the primary side. So, while transferring the primary side, we need to find the equivalent expression. We cannot transfer as it is. When R2 is available in the secondary while transferring to the primary, we need to find what is the equivalent expression because the effect of R2 in the secondary should be same as in the primary. 
the effect should not change the originality will not change so while transferring to primary we need to find what is the equivalent expression and what is the equivalent equation for that so while transferring the resistance r2 to the primary the it is become r2 dash r2 is the resistor available in the secondary while transferring to primary automatically it become r2 dash that is equivalent to r2 divided by k square so this equivalent resistance available in separate video link is given in the description box why we are divided by k square the details are available normally while transfer to primary it is divided by k square while transfer to the secondary it is divided it is multiplied by k square the normal formula similarly when x2 reactance is transferred to the primary it become x2 dash that is x2 divided by k square similarly impedance load impedance zl transfer to the primary it become zl dash that is z1 zl divided by k square similarly the current secondary current i2 transfer to the primary it is i2 dash k into i square only for current it is multiplied by k we know that the transfer function k equal to n1 n2 by n1 v2 by v1 but current is i1 by i2 it is reverse so that all these terms are divided by k square but current only multiplied by k square it is opposite to the each other based on the transformation ratio similarly e2 in the secondary emf induced in the secondary while transferring to primary it become e2 dash that is equal to e2 divided by k that is nothing but e1 that is can be treated as e1 both are in phase now all these secondary parameters r2 x2 zl i2 e2 are transferred to primary at the time it become r2 dash x2 dash zl dash i2 dash and e2 dash or is that one now it is now it is transferred to the primary so based on that we can redraw the diagram redraw the equivalent circuit so this is the applied voltage this current i i r1 x1 this i not all are available in the primary side now the secondary parameters also transfer to the primary so what will happen automatically it become r2 dash x2 dash e2 dash v2 dash zl dash so this equivalent expression also already we calculated now we have only one side primary side this is the primary side parameters these are all secondary side parameters equivalent equivalent secondary side parameters r2 dash x2 dash and this is the no load component this is no load component i naught now we have only one side so we can go for further simplification the value of no load current i naught is very less compared to the i1 this is only due to no load condition only negligible amount of current flow that is for magnetizing the circuit at initially so the effect of i naught can be neglected while compared to i1 while compared to i1 i naught is very less so that we can neglect so if you neglect this i naught we can go for the we can the equivalent circuit will be simplified so that we can draw we can draw like like this this no load component is now neglected so we have we are we are now don't have any no load component only we have r1 x1 primary resistance and reactance r2 dash x2 dash secondary side resistance and reactance so these are all connected in series so that we can write r1 plus r2 dash equal to r not one x1 plus x2 dash can be written as x not one because both are connected in series this parallel one parallel circuit no load component we neglected now we'll see how what is the further simplification of this circuit so that we can write it as r not one x not one this current also i1 equal to i2 dash this v1 and zl dash this r not one x not one this resistance and reactance is nothing but impedance z not one or modulus of z not one equal to square root of r not one square plus r2 x not one square so that we can write z not one so, so finally we have only simply very simplified equivalent circuit applied voltage v1 then impedance load impedance z l dash then z not one 
referring primary as well as secondary impedance, total impedance of the transformer, referring primary and secondary, very simplified circuit for finally we got the very simplified equivalent circuit. So in this video we discuss about the equivalent circuit of a transformer that is all secondary side parameters are transferred to the primary at the time the equivalent equation also we framed based on that it is transferred and finally we got with the very simplified equivalent circuit. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. The link is available, the soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.